What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another local band Smokeout. I'm your host, BG. Last night was my first Love Bites experience ever. <laughs> far seeing them live and uh, I had never been I had never been to the venue which was at the Echoplex in LA really really small venue no parking whatsoever you have to park half a mile away and walk uh, uh, the the venue was set up strange like where the stage is small it probably holds like 350 people stage is really small there's like these giant pillars everywhere like blocking your view so it's not really the best venue of all time I would say um, but the ladies did fantastic. A couple of points before I show you guys some of the footage that I recorded from it. Uh, I went there with my brother Cody, by the way. And uh, it was when the show started, I noticed a couple of things. Uh, uh, by the way, it's a very positive experience. I'm going to give my final score here at the end and explain why I thought it was a special show compared to some of the other things that I see on YouTube as far as what their normal shows are like. Uh, but when it started, I noticed that Fami... Uh, was having like bass issues and she kept pointing to to the sound guy and being like crank the bass up I can't hear it and then there was a dis distinct moment where I had moved from one side of the stage to the other you know keep in mind there's only like 300 350 people here so uh, it's very easy to get you know five or six feet away from the stage in certain spots but it was a part where Miyoko Miyoko Miyako excuse me was playing and this is probably like two or three songs in and like something went wrong in her guitar and she couldn't play like a so important solo like that she was going to harmonize with Maduri. But it's something that I noticed that was cool because she had to run off stage and like fix something real quick. And it all happens in like 20 seconds. But uh, I noticed that Fami saw this happening, ran to the front of the stage and just like did like a really cool like steal your attention bass moment. She's such a professional. And it was enough time to stall to get Miyako to come back and, and jump in. And she jumped in like mid-solo. Like she just plugged in, turned on, like just took over instantly. They're so they're so talented. The set list was, I think, like 16, 15 or 16 songs. Asami was fantastic. I couldn't really see Haruna. There wasn't uh, much of like a stage drum riser for her. Uh, and the stage itself is probably only four or five feet up so it was hard to see her in my opinion because she's so tiny behind the kit i didn't actually see her twirl the star at all i'm sure she did it was definitely on her kit i just didn't see it uh miyako didn't have the piano but it was uh the things that i noticed that like really stood made it stand out for me as far as like a special unique show was uh like uh, i've i've mentioned before where it didn't seem like fami was smiling and having the most fun in certain reaction videos i've done i did not get that vibe at all this particular show she was laughing interacting with the crowd uh interacting with the band as i mentioned a minute ago she kind of noticed the moment and jumped in to like mask something else happening uh she was fantastic um awesome as i mentioned did great vocally of course my girl Maduri was uh, was superb. I did not get a picture with her, which is a complete bummer. Um, I did get within four or five feet, four or five feet of Maduri, and I you can hear at some point in the video I say I love you, Maduri, <laughs> at the top of my lungs. That's me in the audience yelling to her. Um, and then uh, my final thoughts. Uh, uh the, the show was great i would definitely see them live again it kind of falls into the category of while i enjoyed the fact that it was a unique smaller intimate setting i still kind of wish i could see them live again with the full stage setup with the with the grand piano and uh the fire and, and smoke and stuff like that and you don't get all that but you kind of get like a unique raw experience uh, so overall, I'm going to go 9.8 on the show, but it's mostly those two points deducted because of venue reasons. So 9.8 is going to be my score regarding my first time ever seeing Love Bites Live. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy some of the footage that I caught uh, that you'll see here in just a second. 
please support them. And uh, next time they come around, especially if they come to the States, make sure you buy a ticket, tell a friend. Their merch line was crazy long. Like the entire show, their merch line doesn't dent. It's, it's insane how like uh, Japanese rock bands and metal bands and, and foreign bands in general, when they come to America, that you literally have to have an insane amount of boxes worth of merch per show. It just blows my mind. But yeah, the merch line is probably like 100 people deep the entire show. No opening acts. Um, so when they went on and did their 16 minutes, or sorry, 16 songs or so, then that was the end of the night. Uh, at, at that point, at the end of the night, everyone starts gathering for like the meet and greet portion. And they had uh, a gentleman, I'm just going to say he's roughly 25, 26 years old, a fella. And I noticed that he was kind of like their, their stage tech most of the show. Uh, me and my brother had our iPhones and we had like a translator something on the screen. And we yelled to him and we held up our phone and it, and it translated, said, hey, Love Bites American interview question mark. And he saw it, walks over to me and he said, oh, you want to interview the band? And I said, yes. And I handed him my card and he said, okay, go talk to the venue manager. And I'm like, bro, this is not, that's not going to do anything. But regardless, we took his advice, went and tried to find the venue manager who was like, I don't set that stuff up. That's all man, like actual band managers, which, which I do. But um, at least he, you know, he just tried to get rid of me. It is what it is. <laughs> Enjoy the footage of, that you're about to see of their, their set here at, at LA, uh, at the Echoplex. And I'll catch you guys in, uh, in the next reaction video. Peace. Yo, 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 what's yeah. up? What's up, everybody? We're here on Love Bites. We're here to see Love Bites at Echoplex here in LA. Should be a crazy show. It's a small venue, too. Yeah, small venue, but uh, that means intimate. We're excited.
Take a picture with us, okay?